Okay, so uh, let's go and put in some better, um, <laughs> better stuff than having stop pop up. So um, let's go up. Okay, so usually what I'll do uh, when I'm writing games, it's usually up here before we do all of the um, activation of like setting the game ready to play which is like all these things where we kind of set up the variables and everything else is I'll have some kind of a usually a proc that would come up and let's go put it into 23 it would kind of like bring up a, a welcome screen and then when the exits would come back up and it would go to this part where it starts a fresh game so I'm gonna go like line 23 because I'm running out of line numbers here uh, proc and I usually call them welcome Okay, so 22 and 24, let's just put a gap around that. So the first thing I'll do is it'll put a title screen and with press to start. So what you can do is you can put comments at the ends of things. It'll be a colon to put another command and go welcome screen. Okay. see where our uh, next three spaces oh, let's make it a thousand so one one two three bit of space doesn't matter we'll put it down one zero zero one welcome screen yay one zero zero two always helps i'm going to keep it pretty basic okay one zero zero five def proc welcome so i'm making a procedure for the screen 1010 CLS sprite clear just to kind of clear the screen and let's go 1015 print at 9 in fact let's put a nice little type on effect why not Okay, so I'll put um, I'll make a, a little procedure that does a typing on effect. Might as well make it look at least semi interesting and not just printing some text. Um, So this is one that's going to be like our other one, like our rescue. We're going to pass a, a parameter, which is going to be a string or text. T dollar. Okay, one, two, one, oh. In fact, we probably want to type in uh, maybe an X or maybe just a Y line down. Okay, we'll do it so it just kind of types into the center of the screen. So, what we can do is this we can go for i equals one, two, and we go give me the length of that string, right? And we're going to go through and we're going to print out each individual letter. Um, the do 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 effect. Print add. So it's going to be um, the middle of the screen is 15 and 16, uh, 32 characters across. So let's go six. Uh, so it's going to be Y. Uh, okay, it's going to be Y. It can be T Y. Okay, because Y is being used uh, for our ship. Probably doesn't really matter, but that's all right. So 16 minus, so I want to say, oh sorry, Y, remember line first, then thing. So we're going to go 16 minus, then T dollar, divided by two. Okay, so we're going to get, going to make something that goes, okay, print from the middle of the screen back to half the string, so it tries to keep it nice and centered. 
so minus the length of it divided by two so that plus i so it kind of so it says 16 minus half of it and then just add on like that and it'll be t dollar bracket i bracket t dollar one two two zero i one two two five and proc okay it should be one word don't Okay, and then I'm going to beep in here. I'm going to beep pretty quick. I'm going to go too long, so point oh five comma. Let's go I. So we can check that actually. Let's go proc type speech marks always helps. Should be a diff proc. So again, I'm paying enough attention. Oh, no sec. Error again. So proc type. Integer out of range, okay. So there's definitely something going on here that's not working for us. Okay, so we got sprite clear. proc so this is where we do a bit of uh, debugging live debugging you get to watch me do it two variable not found one two one five okay one two one five uh, easy easy there we go always something simple Awesome, it's gonna work. Gonna need to make that beep a little faster because it's pretty slow. Awesome, okay. So, proc welcome, here we go. So, 1015 proc type. So it'll be, I'm going to call this Lunar Rescue, comma, five, okay, I'm going to have 2 proc, uh, okay, so I'm going to say, uh, O, P, Seven. Let's repeat that. Okay, so let's go type. Press S to start, comma, 15. And then we're going to have a little loop there that's going to just wait for the player to press the S key. So, so we can actually go in here if in key dollar. 
not S, then go to 1035. So it'll basically just loop itself until someone presses the S key. And then we go in proc. Okay, so let's go 9999. Let's run and see what happens. Okay, press S. Okay, now the problem I have here is sprite clear. Okay. It's kind of basically clearing everything. So if I go back to the top of my listing. Okay, so that should do everything. Proc terrain, proc astro, sprite four. Okay, let's go 75, sprite, print, one. Okay, I think we need to activate that. Okay, it's on, but we need to clear that screen, so that's easy enough. Now, one thing that's really handy, um, if you wanna jump to the area with a procedure, you can go list proc, uh, and it will actually go to the line with a proc on. It's quite handy. Okay. Okay, so let's go and use that type thing to put some other stuff in here. So let's go and just swap out the proc dead. Okay, so 520 proc type, and then let's just go speech marks. one just to have a bit of a delay in there okay now the reason I'm using pause one and then pause 50 um, the pause command will basically pause for so many I guess microseconds I think it is um, or tenths of a second I'm not quite sure off the top of my head uh, but sometimes it kind of it gets exited if a key is pressed and sometimes what happens is while you're playing a game and you decide you want to use a pause command just to have a bit of a delay before it moves on. Um, the key presses tend to kind of still be in there, I guess like buffering, and it causes it the pause just to blink straight out. So by having two pauses, a pause one, and then another pause, the pause one usually catches that, and then the second pause will kind of uh, do what it's supposed to do. Okay, so let's go down. Okay, let's find the other functions. Proc dead, finish complete. Okay, proc dead. Okay, looks like a virus threat's always good. Okay. And I think that was it. I think, let's have a look.
think it's just the yeehaw part I might need to fix. So let's uh let's keep playing. Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> Boss. Okay. Here we go. We did it. Sprite clear. Okay, let's go sprite clear or CLS because I want to. Let me go proc. Whoops, I'm type this right. Proc. <laughs> okay, well, this helps to type properly. Proc. P R O C. Space. T Y P E. Bracket. Yeehaw. Comma. Let's go 11. One. Pause it. Uh, pause 50. And then we'll go back up. And we'll start the game again, go back to the welcome screen. So we just go back up to, I think it was line 23. Line 23, which will then go back to welcome. And then the whole program starts again. Okay, so let's see. Let's have a blast, let's play it. This should now be a complete game. To, you know, as a tutorial, as complete as it gets. too fast okay so the game over is stuck in a loop <laughs> oh, right Plus 50 I'm not sure if this is good. If it's good practice to put things inside procs like this, but okay. So okay, as part of the optimization, we'll go through and we'll kind of tweak that. goes back to the main screen so run Done. Okay, so if you managed to follow along with that, congratulations, you've put up with me for this whole time. Um, but we've literally finished an entire game from start to finish. Um, so what we'll do is we'll save that. In fact, I'm going to go to uh, okay, and for the final part.
we're going to look at how we can optimize this game down. So try and change some of the lines, make them run a little faster. This is running at 3.5 megahertz, so it's actually not too bad in terms of performance. Um, there are things that I want to do too, is I want to be able to hold down the space bar um, and use it left and right. So I'm going to read the space bar using a port, so it just looks at see if it's actually touched um, without the in key. So we're going to do little things like that. So if you've got this file and you've saved that, you could spend a bit of time kind of customizing that, putting some nice graphics in there, um, or you could come back in the next video and we can go through and we can optimize the crap out of it. So I'll see you in the next video.